Nice Dan here and today I have a Photoshop's Basics video for you on how to use the pen tool. Uh, the pen tool is a really nice tool inside of Photoshop. Um, it allows a lot of you know custom customizability to whatever you want to pen tool. And um, what would you want to pen tool is probably what you're asking now. Um, a lot of times I use pen tools to cut out something from an image. Um, if obviously any other option is not viable, like the magic wand tool. Um, that only really works if you've say you've got a white background with an image in it. You just want to get rid of the white background. That works really well. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I'm just recovering from a cold. Um, and obviously you've got your polygon and mag magnetic lasso tool, and they all work and they all have their situations where they work best. But most of the time, pen tool can do all of it, no matter what. Um, it just depends if you want to take more time to make it more professional or you know just a better a better job. Um, basically, the pen tool if you go on it it's P for pen tool for the shortcut if you're more of a shortcut kind of guy um, which I'm trying my best I've I've actually started using V and H and stuff for the move and the hand tool and I've always used Z the shortcut for the zoom but yeah um, very helpful I'm sure well I'll know all of them eventually but pen tool P for pen tool um, you've got a free form pen tool which basically just lets you freehand um, we're not going to be doing that we're going to be doing the main pen tool pen tool and all these other options you don't really need to worry about just yet until you understand what the pen tool does and basically the pen tool just allows you to draw a path from which you can then do various things to um, a few examples you can stroke the path you can fill the path so if you join all your path up together it'll fill it um, I don't even think it has to be filled uh, like your, your lines don't have to be joined up for it to fill um, I'll show you here this is kind of how you use it really basically this is how you use it um, you can click and drag to uh, make curves but we'll get into that in a minute but look you notice this is not joined but if I right click and go fill path that's filled it white so that's why nothing just happened <laughs> uh, color I should just pick black you'll notice it'll just it'll just interpret that line for you um, and then you can right click hit delete path and then basically have your shape but because it's on the background layer, <laughs> I can't do anything with it, so I'm just gonna create a new layer here. Get rid of that one. Right, so pen tool. Um, and the last thing I wanted to say is you can export the path. So once you've made your shape, you can then export it into another program, um, such as Illustrator, Cinema 4D, if you want to make it 3D. Like, say, if you had a logo uh, path out, boom, slap that in Cinema 4D, and you can make that 3D. Um, but yeah. So how does it work? How am I going to use this? Well, if you have it selected on path mode, it's literally just going to show you these, this faint line. And it basically works from, you just click and make points. But if you click and click and hold, or click and drag, I guess, you can make curves. And these give you things called anchor points when you do this. And that is these two lines, this line here with the little circles on the end. And basically, these anchor points, as you can see there, when I've done this curve, when I click here, you'll notice it actually carries on this curve, but then finishes at the point I made. It kind of carries on the momentum of the line, um, so you can really make some really, you know, like swooshy, you know, kind of abstracty line type things. Um, that's what I use it for quite a lot. Um, these anchor points can be maneuvered after you've placed. So you go like this, and you go, "Ah, oh, no, I wish I did this bit differently." If you hold Alt and hover over this circle you notice the mouse will change to this one here so the convert point tool is basically the shortcut here and now you can move this and if we don't want that one we can click on it and then it will show the other one here and then we can move this one so what you can actually do here is just you can I don't even know what I'm trying to make here but as you see we've got kind of this shape going on and it always It'll always add on from the last point you made as well. So, say so if you wanted it to add on from here, I don't think there's a way of doing that. Um, if you click there, it just joins the path up. Uh, you probably just have to make a new path and uh, do it from there. Or you could probably add something, but that's the basics of the tool. Um, just get used to the function, the way it you know makes them curves, and how you can actually like, manipulate these. What you can do as well is you know I made a point and then I clicked and dragged and then I clicked and then I changed this you can actually click and drag every point so you can basically pick so if I go up here and then click here you'll notice it will kind of make this curve but I 
can also click and drag there, so you get two points. And this is a really easy way to make like a perfect, a perfect curve. And I'll show you how you can do that really easily, because it is really easy. You basically just get your ruler lines. If you don't have ruler lines, hit Control R, and you'll get them. So they're gone. If you're like that, and you hit Control R, you'll notice you'll get these markers, uh, these measurements. You just click and drag from that, and it should snap to the middle of your canvas if you have it selected. And <clears throat> Now we have this line, we can work with this line. So we go back to the pen tool, we click on the line, but we click and drag that actually we need we need a line in the middle. So we can actually center it. Probably needing more lines, make it a lot easier, but so we click and drag and we go straight up to here and then we go try and get the exact same point here. That pretty much close enough, but what we can do here is actually click and drag up, try and get this to go as close as possible, holding alt, we can get that to go there. And this is actually perfectly symmetrical now, it's not a perfect curve. If we wanted a perfect curve, we probably want to go somewhere like that. So you see you got that perfect curve. And if we right click we get options then. So that's kind of how you use it to create the the line. And then what you can do then is if you right click with the pen tool selected, if you go on the move tool you won't get this option. So make sure you're on the pen tool, right click, and as you can see here we can create it, uh, create a vector mask, we can add more anchor points. Um, so if we want an anchor point here for some reason we can click and add an anchor point, it doesn't affect the line then, but then we can actually click and drag this and you know, do all kind of things. So um, the main things we want to focus on is fill path and stroke path, and this one I want to stroke, so if we go stroke, we can actually select the whole things we could do, we can stroke this with. Now uh, the main one I use is brush and simulate pressure basically just means from wherever you started um, it will just start off light and it will get harder as the line goes along so if we simulate brush but before we do this we make sure we just have a uh, a decent sized brush we're just going to go to this hard circle that's 50 pixels so we can actually see it right click back to this stroke path now as you can see it's on brush and it's white so we can't see it and I'll create a new layer as well for this. And then strip path. And you'll notice there actually isn't any brush simulation, and that, I think that's because of the brush type. I believe if you've got a feathered one, it works. If not, then I've done something wrong. But yeah, see, so yeah, a feathered one works. A solid one doesn't work because you can't simulate the pressure of a solid brush. Um, it kind of makes sense. And then you'll notice there's path still here. So if you ever want to get rid of the path, you just right click and hit delete path. But that means you can then can't edit it. But then what we end up with is this nice line that kind of fades out but gets thicker in the middle. It's really cool. And basically you can use this to cut out something. So we should have really uh, had this pre done, but I'll just drag over it. I'm just gonna get an image off unsplash.com. Don't know why I said it so weirdly. There we go, that's a pretty good image to practice it on. Uh, it's a free stock photography website. I'll show you now that uh, I've showed it in many videos. So say we want this leaf cut out and obviously using this might not be as good as you know manually going over it. Probably could get away with this. Hmm. Yeah that works well but if you want it perfect, go to your your trusty pen tool, and obviously this is going to take forever to mask up something like this. And you'll notice if you just kind of you know get used to the way the pen tool works, you can easily work your way around here and cut out like almost beautifully, like almost perfectly. And you notice another thing as well. So that's just what you can do there. Obviously, once you've gone all the way around, you right click and then you select that path as an area, and then you just obviously go back to your move tool. I mean, your marquee tool. You right click and you go um, <coughs> copy via layer or cut if you want to cut it. So um, another thing as well with the pen tool, which I don't think I mentioned, I'm um, holding Alt. Obviously, lets you change the anchor points here. Oops, here. But if you have if you have a curve and then you actually want to do say a straight line up to here, so you want it to go from here 
up to there without curving. Before you do that curve, if you right, uh, hold Alt and click in the middle, um, it deletes the anchor point for that point so then you can go off in your own direction. So this is what I mean by you can you can use this to create, if you hold Shift as well, it, it will do a perfect, it will keep the line perfectly straight, 45 degree angle or vertical. So here you see, you can kind of make like a ribbon look, kind of like a ribbon going on here look. And then whatever. So say this was a logo or something. Ha! <laughs> Actually, that looks like a uh, an anvil. A really terrible one, but... So we've got kind of this anvil now, and if we right click, make sure we've got a new layer, we can fill this with the colour, which is black at the moment delete path and there we go we've got kind of like this anvil the worst anvil world but it is <laughs> see what you can do it's just so simple but when you first use it very frustrating tool but it can do so much so I highly recommend you mess around with it see what you can come up with and obviously the more you use it the better you get um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if there's anything I forgot which I probably did it feels like I forgot something and Yes, I did. <laughs> if you go to Shape Tool, um, basically what this does, if you're not in, uh, if you're not in Path, if you're in Shape, it'll basically draw the shape for you. So as you can see here, when I create the path, I then filled it. Instead of filling the path after you've drawn the line, it'll fill the path while drawing the line, and also it makes it into a vector. So it actually makes it. It's kind of just like going into here, clicking and dragging a shape. It makes it into a vector layer. Um, but obviously you pen tool it out so if we wanted to create this same shape look I'll make it slightly bigger so you can kind of see what's going on here look you notice oh nothing's happened but then as soon as I click up here things are being filled in so if I get rid of this now you'll notice it's kind of filling in as you go now I find this very distracting so I never use it but there could be situations where it could be handy so and that's what we had and then this is a shape tool now. This is just basically like a shape that we've made. We've clicked and dragged out. It's a vector layer so we can scale it as big as we want without losing quality. Um, and then if you want to rasterize it you can. So now it's basically just the same as what we had before. If we make this bigger now you'll, you'll notice it'll get blurry. But yeah, um, so I was lucky I'm uh, notice that quickly but yeah other than that I usually never use that that's probably why I almost forgot and obviously because it's shaped tool you can stroke it you can <laughs> you can stroke it you can put a stroke on it set the width uh, a dotted line blah 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 and you can do whatever um, it's crazy uh, <laughs> so that's the pen tool in a nutshell hope you enjoyed the video um, obviously if I if I missed anything please comment below um, and if you like this series, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> and that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Peace.